When we last left off, we were in the year 1733, and we had taken over part of Italy, and we're looking to finish off our Italian Peninsula campaign. Now with Genoa declaring war on us and also being at war with Spain, we must finish both of these nations off before we look to finish our campaign's objectives of taking Vienna and also taking Berlin from the Austrians, our current ally. Now, if you remember from the last episode, we did defeat half of the Genoan forces, which was a full stack, and we're taking on now the second stack of Genoans that was at their port. They were lucky, or they were nice enough to allow us to take them on in piecemeal. As you can see, we go behind, taking out all their artillery that was causing us a little bit of problems, and now we can compress and surround the Genoans to finish them off. Now with this battle complete, we only have to disperse of the remnants of the Genoan Navy and then their remnants of their forces will be landlocked on their little island, not causing us any more grief. They can just stay in their corner. But Spain is constantly becoming a pain in my ass, as is the Genoan Navy. But we do make short work of their navy, and now we look to take Naples from Spain, which is a complete victory and Naples will be ours, finally. We now look to position ourselves to take over, again, the rest of the Genoan Navy, and we do so. Now they are landlocked and will no longer be of a threat to us. Also, Spain does bring a fleet with a rocket or a bomb catch, and we do destroy their fleet as well. And now we look to take on France at Savoy, we siege them there, keeping them from pushing into our Italian provinces. Now I will tell you on the intern, I saw a fleet with Spanish army on board looking to possibly cause us problems in Egypt. We do bring a fleet over to intercept them. This is a large fleet, but we do take it, netting us a large amount of money, which we gratefully take in the name of Poland-Lithuania. Around this time, the Ottomans do declare war on us and try to take... Palestine away from us and also the French sally out and we Fagasi the hell out of them Fagasi you France Fagasi you you gotta love the Fagasi and we certainly love the effects it has on the French as we have it all kinds of hidden all on the battlefield here
thus ends the French occupation of Savoy. They didn't like the Fagasi, I don't take it. But we do take Savoy, that is for certain. Now we will look to push on France itself as we do have several armies. I don't know what they have there as we don't have spies available to proceed our advance. But it looks like the Austrians are making way to France and we cannot have that. We cannot allow the Austrians to take France before us. So we will look to push to take that. Now, also Syria we do lay siege to. And unfortunately, after fighting a battle, we do end up in defeat, a near defeat, barely defeat, but a defeat all the same. And another setback, Austria does take France. So we are looking now to disperse our armies elsewhere. It is already the year 1738. We're so close to the end of this campaign and still have two objectives left to take and one of them is not Syria but we do end up taking it from the Ottomans and now the Ottomans are out of the campaign hasta la vista baby and now with those objectives completed or I guess somewhat objectives we can now look to knock out Spain from this campaign that almost rhymes. Spain from the campaign. I like it. So it is our turn for an amphibious invasion that the Spanish were trying to, I guess, traverse on us. We will now look to take out Spain with several armies that we have available. I also get a little gung-ho here and we take a look at taking Tunis from the Spanish. So we push on that and do end up taking it without a fight. And lo and behold, I will find out that I have lots of armies in Tunis that we will have to come into direct combat with, as you can see here. Now we will do our best to give them the Fagasi here and I think I'm over reliant on it trying to use it because it's just so darn awesome to watch that I end up putting myself in a little bad position that you will be able to see unfold here Try as I may and try as I might, I just can't get the damn Spanish to step on to the Fagasi here. They're being quite irritating about wanting to step onto our minds. Just do it! Bunch of cowards! And wouldn't you know it, 
a routing unit sets off quite a bit of my fagasi harmlessly disgusting And it is at this part of the battlefield that I realize the error of my ways is all of my units are without a general as my militia that was my general unit dies. All of my units are low morale based with my light infantry being the best. But this does make them very susceptible to mass routes. And... Unfortunately, this is what is going to occur. As you can see, already my two flank units are starting to waver. And it is only going to cause a chain reaction. Sadly, the whole army will break and the battle will be done. So let that be a lesson to you. And also to me, don't do that. But we do bring our army over and lay siege to Tunis and let them fill the tune of that. And then we also pursue taking Algeria as well. I'm not even sure how many men there are that they have stationed in Algeria, but I'm too pissed off after the battle at Tunis to really care at this point. So we are pushing on. And then Tunis does fall with the auto resolve. And the resolve is ours. Now we bring our army from Egypt over to take Tripoli. And now the Spanish will try to consolidate their forces and attack us in Tunis once again with a very large force. And we try to use the Fagasi on them again, but I'm a little smarter and not being over-reliant on just watching the effects of the Fagasi. It is very mesmerizing indeed, but we end up putting the Spanish to an end in Tunis quite nicely in this battle. So with that being said, Tunis does fall to us, as does any hope for the Spanish of being a dominant African nation. And also, we are now looking to make advances on Swedish territory. With the Wing Tsar army, I know you're excited to see that in action, as I am as well. And we will recruit more men as it is now getting close to the end of the campaign. It is now the year 1741. We only have nine turns left.
to finish the campaign. We must take Berlin and we must take Vienna from the Austrians to win this campaign. And we can't go into this fight while we're also fighting the Swedish and the Spanish. So we must finish them off. As you can see, we have taken all of North Africa. We're primed and ready to knock out the Spanish and then the Swedish. If you want to continue this campaign of the Your Choice campaign of choosing plug bayonet and trading for East Prussia, then you can click the link in the end card at the end of this video, which should be showing now. If it's not there yet, it will soon be.